Hello. Hey guys. It's the two kids that don't know anything about the NBA. Let's talk about if the NBA should or should not put in the four point line. This is me, Omar is fat. And this is me, the row. First of all, they shouldn't. It's really stupid. By the way, I am the Memphis Grizzlies because I'm because John Moran. Co. All right, speak first because it's your idea. So, I feel like the, they should put it in a four point line because young youth is already getting like um. If you see some of the clips of uh, of NBA players' sons that are like eight years old. They can already shoot from NBA 3. And they're only going to get their range extended and extended. But, like, if you think... You, like, so, if you give them something like a four-point line, they can pop off. First of all, it's really stupid. They go from a free throw, which is a one point, two point, two points, a layup and a mid-range, three points, which is a three-pointer, and a four-pointer. What are they gonna add the four pointer? Half court? Are they gonna maybe, do that? Maybe, maybe. Is like, that what they're gonna do? Maybe like, I hope not. Maybe like three feet away from like the actual three point line. That is super stupid. Why? Because it is stupid. All right. The and only- then people like Steph Curry were just turn bad because they gotta get the more points. You know, they're not trying to win the game. They're going to take the four-point shots. Actually, if you think about it... Shut up. They're going to take the four-point shots, and they're going to miss every single time because they have been practiced. And all the old people like Stephen Curry, Clay Thompson, all the good shooters, are going to retire or something. I don't know. I, but you don't the- know anything about basketball, so this is why we're just saying stuff randomly. I but like, if you think about it, when the three-point line was impl- implemented, implemented, I don't even know how to speak English. Wait up. All right, we're back. I don't know why we stopped. But first of all, those people are going to retire. So that's not going to be good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but if you think about it, new youth comes in. What about the old people? They're going to they're gonna have no money. What are they going to do? The old people. Look, every NBA player is wor- is willing to work hard to be the best. And, if the, and everybody, the three-point line has become so good that everybody's trying to do it. Even LeBron could shoot threes now. Let's just be honest. Lonzo's was the best player in the league. Because he is, cuh. No, he's not. Yes, he is. Shut up. Lonzo is You're going to come on here and say Lonzo is good. This is they exactly a- why we named ourselves mm-hmm. the two They, they made a mistake. They made a... What the hell? All right. They made a mistake. Trading three... All right. They trade... All right. Instead of Lonzo, they could have put anyone. I would have been fine. Avery Bradley. Anybody. Danny Green, okay, I don't care, but they had to put Lonzo in the deal. Why? Cause he's good. He he put them. What's that guy's name? The the AIDS guy, GM AIDS. Mike Mike. <laughs> What's his name? So it's the M. Magic Johnson. All right, Magic Johnson. He knew. Bro, next thing you know, he just he just knocks on our door. Pa. <laughs> You want some AIDS now? Uh-huh. Alright. First of all, he traded Lonzo because he knows he's good. Uh-huh. That's why he traded it for Anthony Davis. Anthony La- Davis... Oh, listen, Lonzo's not good right now. Yes, he, he is. Has, he has potential. I know he has potential. He's going to be the... He's going to be MVP one day, 100%. 100%. I will... Like, I'm calling it. He's going to be MVP one day. I feel like he's going to become a breakout star, but I don't think he's on that level right now. He's not on level right now, obviously, because he can't shoot threes. But he's better like, than... threes are d- don't matter in the NBA. Things you like were just saying out in the four-point line and now the three doesn't matter? Yeah, exactly. Oh, my God. If the four-point line was put in... Which it would never be because it's stupid. Well, listen. Listen. People like Steph Curry, Damian Lillard, especially Damian Lillard and James Harden, would be the best people in the league because they shoot... Both, because a lot of their shots are limitless range, and they're really good shooters. And Stephen Curry, he really shoots from close, from close up to the three point line. Uh, lately, lately is shooting close to the three point line. We haven't, I haven't, I don't know the last time I ever seen him pull off a half court shot. All right, let's just be honest. Lonzo Ball is better than Stephen Curry.
in like three years. No, he is better. Legit, all Curry does is shoot threes. That's all he's known for. Lonzo Ball. So tell me that he could drive, he could dunk. Is he could Lonzo do the? Do you think Lonzo is the best player in the league? Obviously not, but he's one of the best players, hundred percent. Not right now. In a few years, yes, he would be. You sound like Levar Ball right now. I don't like Levar Ball. Let's just be honest. He's that. All right. The reason I don't like Levar Ball is because like. He's one of those parents, like, those ghetto parents. I know, right? Like, we were playing. We were just, like, at the trampoline for the first time. And there oh, was, yeah! There was this, that woman! There was this lady from Toad Hill. It's just, like, this super rich, like, town. Because uh -huh. she had, like... The reason we knew it was because she literally had Toad Hill on the back of her shirt. And you know that's some ghetto stuff right there. And, like, I carried my team. Like, I was the last person on my team, but my team counted on me. I was trying to get these kids out. And then these kids, I right before they came. You don't came? care about that. I don't care about that. All right. She's like those. All right. The ghetto, like, mom, she was just like, ooh, yeah, who you think you are, huh? And she was all like stuff like that. And then I, on purpose, got her out the first person. Exactly. And then her son, in revenge, got me out. It was worth it, though. So, Honestly. yeah. All right. As I was saying, LeVar Ball, I, I don't should, know. I took the ball right out of her head. <laughs> exactly. Wait, that doesn't count then. It's a headshot. And All then right. I had two balls, so I hit her right in the head. She's like, ow! What was that? Huh? <laughs> and I threw the ball at her. See, this is what I mean. Get to. And then she crossed the line on purpose. Remember that? Yeah. All right, so. Let's just get one fact straight. Zion's overrated. Okay? Honestly. He thinks he's so good just because he has like a 20-inch vertical or something like that. No. Now, what kind of... What, 44, work? I think. 44? Okay, whatever. He thinks he's so good. He's honestly really bad. I'm pretty sure, I'm like John Moran, he can't jump. Stop using that, okay? It's super annoying, you little shit. Oopsie, Daisy. <laughs> Doesn't matter. All right. <laughs> Sorry, carrots. That wasn't supposed to happen. Yeah. All right, so... If Zion thinks he's so good, I'm pretty sure that he won't be, ever be able to jump over Kevin Love. Like John Moran. Look at John Moran. Zion is fatter than the Earth, and Kevin Love would die. Our earthquake would happen, and then the Cleveland Ca Cavaliers, um, the Cleveland Cavaliers stadium, like everything, at the at the Cavaliers. Zion is pretty overrated, and I don't like him. All right, is Zion? All right. John Moran. Guys, if you're wondering how we just talk, we went from Zion making an earthquake in Cleveland to Zion is overrated, it's because we had a break. Yeah. We're going to get some food in like a little bit. <coughs> Stop coughing, you swine. I want to say that. All right. We just, we're just going to get some food, so that's why. All right. Zion is overrated. He's not going to get rookie of the year. I'm not saying that he shouldn't, but like, When's the I know Grub he's Hub not. Coming here? Huh? When's the Grubhub getting here? We're not doing Grubhub. It's all about Uber, Uber Eats. Eats. Yeah. Hey. Obviously not sponsored by Uber or Uber Eats. <laughs> all right, so <coughs> I'm not saying that Zion shouldn't win, but I am saying that he shouldn't win it. I mean, I'm saying he shouldn't win it, but like, I mean, he's not. Zion is overrated because he hasn't played a single game in the NBA. And people think he's so good. I know. It was like, it's like, what happened with Ben Simmons like a few years ago. Exactly. Like, Michael Jordan comparisons, like, Ben Simmons does not play as good as MJ. And what is it called? Even though he's from the Pelicans and Lonzo's there, I still don't like him that much. He's true. He's, and this is the second game playing. Is he not going to be that good of a... All right, he's going to be a good addition, but, like, he's not, like, he's, like, if AD just, like, size down and, like, <coughs> he's, like, AD, but, like, half the stats. That's what he is. AD's honestly really good. Yeah, I don't think so. But whatever, sure. But we'll just go with All it. Right. Shut up. All right. All right, first things. All right, so we were talking about... John Morant's going to win it. John Morant's going to win it. 100%. Rookie of the year. I will give... Round five. Okay, this kid. I'll give him five dollars if John Moran doesn't win. All it's right. Gonna be, I, I'm gonna say it's gonna be close between R.J. Barrett and John Moran. 
He just means Chalmer, right? Alright, so we were talking about the four-point line. I forgot what we were talking about, so let's just talk shit about Sion and Anthony Davis. <laughs> Four point line. All right, the four point line it sucks. All right, it's a stupid idea. So you're telling me they shot the four point line in 20 years when they're gonna have kids like the kids now, or they're gonna have kids or something. You're gonna have the five point line because they're taking too much range. They're gonna have the five point line. Yeah. Are they gonna tell me? Are they? No. Exactly. So they shouldn't add the four point line. Should they? Well, I mean, too much change to the game is never wrong too much change to the game it's gonna if we add the four point line it's gonna remind me of nba playgrounds okay it's gonna be animated and f looks fake i can just imagine so it's gonna be a circus so i can just imagine the commentators going like all right Seth and curry's juniors is taking the shot oh my god the four pointer you think that's gonna sound good no exactly a four point line Will never come true. Myth busted. We're not myth busters here. I don't care. Myth busted. You know what? You know what the three point line reminds me of? How you have three hair lines, two in your hair and one on your forehead. You know what Mount Rushmore reminds me of? Wait, not Mount Rushmore. <laughs> what was I gonna say? You know what McDonald's reminds me of? Your hairline. That's not. You a got your hairline from McDonald's. That's such a third grader post. Bro. Have you ever I went to McDonald's and then you say, can I get a bag and then they say anything else and you say a hairline? You said that once. I was there. I was stupid. All right. John I Morant, said your hairline. John Morant, rookie of the year, 100%. Lonzo Ball, MVP in 2023, 100%. Stephen Curry's trash, 100%. No four-point line. Myth busted. Bro, if they put else? in a four-point line, people like James Harden and Damian Lillard are going to get way more credit. I, I mean, they're going to get as much as credit as they deserve. <coughs> because um, Damian Lillard, he's mad underrated. Let's just be he's honest. He's not underrated. Yes, he is. He's super Clay underrated. Clay Thompson's underrated. Clay Thompson and Damian Lillard are the most underrated people in the whole NBA. Wait. All right. Had to fart. All right, what? Lonzo Ball's underrated also. He's not there yet. He is under. I forgot what we were talking about again. <laughs> it was a four point line. No, it was Lonzo underrated. He is underrated. No, he's, he's too not. good. No, he's not. He's too good. No, he's not. He really is too good. You're telling me Lonzo's not if good. If you're telling me in a few years, Lonzo is going to be one of the best people in the NBA, I believe that. But he's not putting in as much as work he needs to be. His dad is is facing him. Look, <coughs> and then you're gonna tell me that one day Zion's gonna be better than Michael Jordan. Not I feel like me. I feel like the only thing that made that made Lonzo better in college was his dad at his side. He, uh, because so then you know how you how you play in gym or recess, you're playing against that cocky guy, yeah. and you know you're better than him, but he still beats you. That never happens because I always beat them. Flex. For me, for me. I, I lose to them once or twice because I know that they're worse than me. It's just that they really get in my head. LeVar, LeVar Ball, he's getting in other people's head. How? He's literally bald. <laughs> I mean, like, you know what I mean? Like, he's getting into their head by saying that his son is better than Michael Jordan. He's not, though. Exactly, but he's getting in other people's heads. Right, this head. is gonna be pretty bad, but like, I'm pretty sure that Michael Jordan wasn't the best of all time. I'm saying it's Let's straight. be honest. Let's be honest. It was probably Will Chamberlain. Kareem. Not Kareem either. Or Shaq. They have Shaq on everything nowadays. Kareem was the best. Not in my opinion. Michael Jordan was like 100% one of the best. Or the best, right? He's the best. I don't That's, think he was the best because... He was. He is the best. He literally... Kareem, Kareem could... Kareem? Did he shoot threes? No, he couldn't. Yeah, because it, at his time, there weren't threes. Doesn't but he that. still has the most NBA points in the whole entire NBA history, and nobody has come close to it. I don't really <coughs> care. <coughs> Michael Jordan is still the best. The second probably is Shaquille O'Neal. It's not Kareem. You're telling me that Shaq is better than Kobe? 
Yeah. I don't really like Kobe. Get out of this room I don't really right like now. Kobe. You heard Get me. Get out of this room I don't right really now. like Kobe. Told me that Shaq is better than LeBron. Yeah. They're they're really at the same level. But LeBron can't dunk like this, can he? Bomb. Can he do that? No, he can't. Yeah, he can. He shits on everybody on the court. Okay, good for him. All right. Under Myth Busted. Michael Jordan is the best player. And then second is Shaq. Now... Last myth. What would happen? Do you think that John Morant should or should not get traded to the Milwaukee Bucks? Oh, that's just a good one. I'm for me, it's hundred percent yes. Cause him, Guyanis, and Chris. Why Mills. Milwaukee? That's just random. Him? You just said our random team's name. No, I'm serious. I was thinking about this. Him, John Morant. Ke- um, I just to the compo, and Chris Middleton will make a gr- great 3 0. Wait up. The reason that Guyanis, Chris Middleton, and Drama are making a great team is just like, the three are both good. Like, they're all good. This is, it'll just be good. I just imagine Jabba Ray in a Milwaukee Bucks jersey right now. Who it would they a- trade for, though? Eric, bro- Eric Bledsoe. Eric Bledsoe is actually really good. He's not better than Chris Middleton. I mean, it's telling me a rookie versus a person that's probably been in the league for over nine years is better. John Morant is better. How we've only seen <coughs> He literally jumped over Kevin Law. I love to see you jump over the little three year old cousin. I mean baby cousin. I mean baby brother. I could do that. Okay, good for you. I don't care, but you can't double. Child abuse. Exactly. I, like you're not gonna be able to jump over a six nine kid guy. Are you? Six slide? Shut up. All right, that's it for today. Peace. You forgot to say something? Well, yeah, bye.